Well, I graduated from NYU Film School two years ago, um, and I made... Oh, I think, I think six films while I was there, uh, including my most recent film, My Thesis, Vanitas. And right now I'm in the process of fundraising for my brand new first ever feature, uh, Thicker Than Water. So it's the story of this young man, Michael, um, who has been searching for his biological sister for most of his adult life. And he quite by coincidence discovers that she is actually one of the students in the class that he is TAing uh, in his graduate school. Um, but before he can tell her, he begins to develop romantic feelings for her. And so it's the, um, the interpersonal drama of that situation playing out, since she does not know that he's her brother. My father had been a playwright, and now I was a screenwriter, and I was really interested in theater, but I was also really interested in painting, um, and I was also really interested in visual arts, and so suddenly it occurred to me that film was kind of all of those things. And so, you know, I think it's just the opportunity to tell stories and create worlds and create people and sort of play out these these psychological dramas that you know may or may not reflect <laughs> my own life and the lives of people that I know you know doing it over and over again until you get it right so there is this idea um, you know that if you're a real filmmaker or if you really care about it then you're just you're just gonna get out there and you're just gonna go it's just gonna be you and the camera and one guy and no one's getting paid and it's just like well okay fine that's great when you're 17 or 18 or 19 years old but what about when you're 35 you know um, and it's no you know no disrespect to the people who who make their films that way and you know some films that I really really love uh, especially a lot of the films of Harmony Korine have been made that way but um, you know I think that there is something to be said for planning and treating your crew well and, you know, creating relationships with people who are going to want to work with you again. I think that, you know, the popularity of the internet and the, in many ways, very truly fantastic ability to share your work and market your work and, you know, display what you do to an audience that may never have otherwise seen it, um, also comes with this idea that all content is and should be free and that nobody should have to pay for anything and that if you really cared about your work getting out there you wouldn't charge. Um, and I think that is a threat not only to filmmakers but also to all artists.